Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel inside of today's video. Finally, Season 22 is here and I'm going to be giving you guys the best tips on how to progress through the Brawl Pass as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible because we don't all have no lives like myself, right? But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to be guys uh, a comparison as well of how things look as a free-to-play perspective and then also a pay-to-win perspective. Of course, we've got the uh, Brawl Pass Plus ready to redeem in a second and I've been waiting for a while. So a quick tip as well, typically on the Supercell store website, there will be like a small discount. So if you do pl pl uh, plan on purchasing anything, then make sure to go on that website. It's always a, a good discount. But quickly, a few things I noticed straight away with quests is that you get an extra 200 xp from battles every single day if you buy the brawl pass so that is very good you get a lot more progression through that and also you get an extra daily quest so that is literally 400 extra xp every single day if you just buy the brawl pass so quickly i'm on my free to play account just to give you guys some perspective on how it is early on in the season i completed all my quests xp from battles and also you get 30 xp from candidates of the day it's not really a lot but it all adds up especially if you're a free to play like i am on this account and also so just want to show you guys what kind of stuff you get with the brawl pass i know a lot of you guys won't be able to afford it but maybe for christmas or your birthday you could get the brawl pass and these are the perks that you can get and you can just see the difference between the plus and the brawl pass as well there's actually a lot i think other youtubers have gone really deep into detail about all the changes but you can just quickly see the pass perks there's a daily shop freebie an extra one which i didn't even know about daily battle xp doubled extra daily quests and more seasonal quests as well so the reason why that matters is because towards the end i think this is the thing that i'm most excited for is the random star drop i know it takes 1600 battle pass xp to get one of them but the rewards before were really just terrible five credits every single time you got towards the end was terrible so a random star drop at least it's exciting so i'll be looking to try and complete the brew pass as quickly as possible so i can start farming those star drops now i'm going to redeem the brew pass plus for the first time and then we'll just head on to like a power league game and i'll just give you guys a lot of different pointers on how to complete it as efficiently as possible so that's the redeem button clicked. I haven't played anything on my main account because I just wanted to see how far it would take me down. And it's already up to tier 16. So that is pretty epic. But again, I'm looking more towards the end here because I want to get, of course, uh, that Brawl Pass skin. And I also want to make sure I get that legendary star drop. Every single season, you get one of those. So let's jump into some gameplay and talk about how to complete this as fast as possible. All right, guys, so jumping into the first game of Power League then. So we're just going to be discussing the easiest ways to bump up the Brawl Pass whilst we're just playing at the beginning of the season. Typically, these games are pretty easy and mythic. So we're just going to roll off the, our tongue. Some tips. So I think the number one tip for me is try and space out the way you play in a day so for example like a lot of people have work school etc so try and play in the morning ish i would say and then by the time you finish your daily uh stuff work and school as i said that's the most common one right um by the time you finish that then you will have your xp replenished so it takes about 10 hours for the battle xp to replenish so you get an extra 200 xp that again will all add up but you don't always have time to play um in the morning and whatever right so don't stress yourself out too much but that is just typically the best way if you're just really fixated on trying to get as much progression as possible i know there are some people out there and a lot of people out there so that's just one thing to bear in mind also we're going through the harder quests so this is probably my biggest tip that i can give in terms of getting faster progression because you want to skip through those harder quests as much as possible so the first one the hardest one by far for me has to be play against 16 times so for me that is just really annoying and really long just 16 matches you have to play typically you'll get five wins before you play 16 matches unless you're just really trash um which maybe a few of you guys are i mean no shade to you guys if you can't win five games in 16 matches but yeah that's just you know just winning games in general is going to be faster but not only that you have to click the play again button with the same brawler you know typically you kind of want to switch brawlers sometimes and um that will stop you from getting more play again quests and you know you don't always want to play again with ran like with randoms typically a lot of people just play with randoms the majority of people will play with randoms and uh, i will say first handed i play a lot with randoms and i hardly ever want to press play again so you're kind of forced to play with bad randoms if you've got to play again quest just so many bad things about it just skip the quest it's terrible just don't do that to yourself so i'm on six stars already here so we're gonna play some mines here i know it's not really best for the grump but we kind of got to defend ourselves here 
This is pretty bad if we can't get this fang out. Might as well just heal up here. We'll have to get Charlie down. No, okay, we'll just let we'll just let Piper die there. There's no saving her. I'm gonna get another kill. Beautiful. In terms of other hard quests then. So we have uh winning with trash brawlers. So that's just quite self-explanatory, right? You want to give yourself the best brawlers to win with because it's just gonna be easier if you've got a quest that is with Doug, Frank, and Hank. Then when are you ever going to be winning? Unless they're really low in trophies, which is going to be really easy. Again, that's just self-explanatory. Easier quest, lower of trophies. But yeah, you're not going to be winning with those brawlers, especially if you kind of have an account like mine, uh, which is above 800 trophies every brawler. But again, 700 trophies every brawler is still pretty hard to win consistently with the trash brawlers in the meta. So that's pretty self-explanatory trip, but some people just don't think about it. They just put, they just force themselves to play Hank, Frank, etc. Just don't do it to yourself, please. I beg. It's not worth the sanity, but we're going to finish it off with the game there. I think we got near enough every single kill. That was beautiful. So next, some other high, really hard quests. So if you guys didn't know as well, the super hard quests have actually all been changed to medium quests. So uh, it, will, it will now grant you 500 tokens as well. You guys probably know about that already. And also instead of uh, the typical, I think it was Tuesday, Thursday, getting new seasonal quests is every single day. So that's a beautiful change. But anyways, so like you won't need uh, eight wins anymore with certain brawlers it's now just five wins so that's beautiful i love that change eight wins just felt a bit too grindy for me i didn't like it so i'm glad they've uh, changed that but yeah winning with high trophy brawlers is the next hard quest so typically again you know i might be speaking for the few here but i don't know maybe if you push a certain brawler to even 900 trophies I, I typically don't really want to play that brawler and get a quest with it just because again if i'm short on time I'm not going to be winning with 900 trophies with randoms, right? So typically, the higher the trophies, the harder it is going to be to complete the quest. Again, that should be pretty self-explanatory, but this is a tip video, right? I want to give the best tips possible. Next, we have, um, for me, a personal one. I think defeating brawlers in knockout, bounty, and in showdown. I just think this quest typically takes a lot longer than it should. You know, in knockout, it is a pretty passive game mode, in my opinion. It's harder to... Uh, confirm kills all of the time you know there's of course three of you going for the same brawlers there's a lot of um kill stealing etc etc i just don't find myself doing well with those knockout quests maybe you guys are different maybe you guys enjoy knockout again it, it can be just personal preference right whether you like a game mode love uh well hate a game mode etc etc for me i'll always be skipping like showdown duo showdown because I just don't enjoy those. But maybe you guys skip the 3v3 modes. Because you don't enjoy those. So that's one thing to bear in mind. I'm going to pop our mindset. Just try and get the pinch onto Gus. Okay. That's not the best. But the thing is, Fang has all the stars. So we might be able to... Actually, no, we just need one more kill here. Kind of waiting for a juicy respawn here. So it's going to focus up. Because we don't want to be losing the Eli. What, the Gus just stepped on a bow mine. Can we get the kill on Fang on time? I don't think my teammates can do it. Can Piper do it? Please? No. Okay. Rip. We're going to... Going to game three, we're a game three player, as you guys know. Also, there's a couple more harder quests. So collect power cubes is a little bit here or miss for me. You know, some games I can end up with a really fast lead getting six power cubes. Super easy, right? But then a lot of times for me, I don't know if it's just me, the RNG with boxes, it's just pretty trash. And I just feel like I spend a lot of time wasting uh on that quest. So typically I skip that one. And then when it's just a quest for one brawler, so that is still in the game right now. Testing in a dev build. I've not really seen it on any of my accounts just yet. But the oh, there is a chance of just getting a quest with just simply win five matches and it's just Piper or 8-bit, etc, etc. So typically I would say just try and skip those unless it's a really easy brawler. You know, if that's a brawler that is the best brawler in the game or, uh, you know, like Kit, for example. Or if it's... um really low trophy probably just keep it because low trophies is just easy for quests super easy but if it's just a kind of awkward brawler you know no good maps for that typical brawler uh for the day just skip it because you have a much better chance if you skip it of getting you know you get free brawlers you get the chance of um completing the quest with which of course is going to boost your chances of getting an easier quest so beautiful mind kill right there so in terms of easier quests then we'll quickly go through these with one minute left uh the easier quests are going to be the more generic ones so for me i think it's like deal a certain amount of damage win eight games i know that's more than five games but that means you could just play literally any brawler right so there's no stress of having to pick a specific brawler on a specific mode map you could just play how you want just abuse the mirror as much as you want and you won't be 
might punish for it so that's just one thing that i really like uh, in terms of other ones as well typically just i like ones that just win five games with you know a selection of three brawlers i really enjoy that because typically you'll have one brawler that's low trophies or one brawler that's really good on a certain map so i really enjoy that quest another one that i really like is defeat 15 brawlers specifically when it's an aggro brawler so I think that's going to be your best chance of getting uh, kills. You know, super aggro brawlers, you know, fang. Any hypercharge brawler, any tank, any assassin. You're going to typically get kills a lot easier with those brawlers. So that's going to be a nice win right there. So we're going to go through the last few points here. Just talking and waffling. I don't know if you guys enjoyed that, but 13 and 2. Pretty much waffling. Out of, what? The, the Charlie 0 and 10. That is insane. So a few more then. So we'll just win five games with meta brawlers. I know that's just pretty self-explanatory. And win five games with low trophy brawlers. Again, pretty self-explanatory. But those are going to be your easier quests. So again, there's not really too much to quests, to be honest. Just the fact that, of course, doing your dailies is going to be still... I would say your best chance of progressing through the Brawl Pass as quickly as possible, but there's not always time in the day to do your daily quest. But if you can remember, you know, typically these are really fast, right? Like win three games in Brawl Ball or Solo Showdown, that should be pretty fast, especially if you have a low trophy brawler. Of course, doing your dailies is going to be your essential. But at the same time, they've actually changed it so you don't have to do your dailies every single time because they're adding more seasonal quests. And typically, a player won't be punished if they're only allowed to play on weekends, for example. You know, when I was younger, I could only play games on the weekends. So this change would have really benefited me for my younger self. So big props to Brutal for that. And of course, you've got the special event quests as well every single weekend, which I typically don't do because I hate hate them but on my free to play account i kind of force myself to do it because it's 500 xp that you're missing out on and you don't want to miss out on it whatsoever so i think that's pretty much the best tips i can give again it's not really super in detail because there's not really too much else to really explain there's just a couple of features and you just got to grind through it uh, of course you have 27 days to do it so there is a long time to get grinding but just make sure to just play as much as possible. Get those quests done. Even if for the day, you know, you have 15 minutes to play. Just quickly go through those daily quests and you'll be good to go. That would really boost your progression. Especially, as I said, getting towards the end. It's just so crucial. You want to make sure you get that legendary star drop. I think that's going to make so many people grind. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.